Okay, we're going to go ahead and mount the engine now. For this plane, we're going to go with the PTE-72. This engine is proving to be a real powerhouse, uh, very reliable and economically priced. It's going to be a perfect fit for this airframe. It's going to mount well to where the, the cowl is going to be able to really efficiently cool these twin heads uh, because they, they rest right where the entry holes are on the cowl. So the first thing you're going to want to do is print off the template for your engine, in this case the PT-72. And your template, make sure it's oriented the correct way. Make sure that you print it off with no scaling and double check the measurements that, you're, that it should be at. This one says 68 millimeters and 58 millimeters. And I've double checked those dimensions to make sure it printed off correctly. That's very important. Next, you want to make sure you're holding it the correct orientation if it's not square and then carefully line it up with the crosshairs both vertically and horizontally. Now that you have your template taped on and lined up, we're going to go ahead and start drilling out these holes. You want to start with a 1 16th inch bit so that you can remain very accurate and then one step at a time uh, step it up to the next size until you get to your final thread size on the bolts you're using for your engine. Now that you have your 1 16th inch holes drilled in all four holes, you can take your template off and begin stepping up your bits until you get to your final bit size, which for this engine uses 5 millimeter bolts, which is equivalent to about a 13 64th inch bit. Okay, now we've got that drilled out with 13 64th inch bit, and you can see this 5 millimeter bolt just nicely slides in there. You're gonna take the GT Power Portable Battery Charger from RedWingRC.com and your battery, hopefully a Red Wing RC battery as well. This is one of our three cells.